So, Budget 2022 is finally here. If you didn't have time to watch all two hours of the speech like I did, this video is just for you. On 18 Feb, Finance Minister Lawrence Wong delivered his debut budget statement in Parliament. Let's take a look at everything that was announced. This year's budget is titled, Charting Our New Way Forward Together. The annual budget outlines the expenditure for the next financial year. Budget 2022 is aimed at giving Singaporeans confidence as we embrace the journey forward while we deal with the challenges of COVID-19. First up, investing in our people. As we emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic, focus will shift back to continuing to strengthen our social compact. However, by 2030, government expenditure is expected to increase to more than 20% of GDP, and most of this increase in spending will go towards healthcare. Additional revenue is thus needed to care for our ageing population and also support our healthcare expenditure. Increased taxes will help to fund all of this. Changes will be made to existing wealth taxes. One of the main ways wealth is currently taxed is through property and vehicle taxes. There will be an increase in property taxes that will affect all non-owner occupied residential properties and the top 7% of owner occupied residential properties. The increase in property tax rates will be in two steps, starting with tax payable in 2023. Taxes on luxury cars will increase as well. We knew the GST hike was coming. After all, it is not a if, but a when. Well, it's here, but not so soon. It will be done in two stages. This way, the tax increase won't be too taxing for Singaporeans. Our current GST is 7%. On 1st Gen next year, this will increase to 8%. And finally, on 1st Gen the year after, will increase to 9%. But GST on publicly subsidised healthcare and education will continue to be absorbed. And to help Singaporeans cushion the impact of the increase in GST, we have a 6.6 .6 billion assurance package for GST. At least five years of additional GST expenses will be covered for majority of Singaporean households. There is also a 560 million household support package to help Singaporeans with our daily expenses. It includes additional top-ups to add you save of $200 for each student or child, more you save rebates and $100 in CDC vouchers. Now you can save more on your utility bills through additional you save rebates. This is on top of existing GST voucher scheme, which will be extended to more families and with larger payouts. Another huge component of the budget are plans for environment and sustainability. It's not just enough to focus on the three R's. I mean, I care so much for the environment that even the bags under my eyes are recyclable. The green plan on the other hand lays out something even more ambitious. A target of achieving net zero carbon emissions by or around mid-century was set during the speech. To achieve this, we will need to set the right price of carbon. The carbon tax will be raised from $5 per tonne today to up to $50 to $80 per tonne by 2030. Up to 35 billion of green bonds will also be issued by 2030. These bonds will be used to fund green infrastructure projects for all Singaporeans to enjoy. One example of such a project would be charging stations for electric vehicles. The revenue generated will be used to cushion the impact on household and businesses and also be invested in new low-carbon and more energy-efficient solutions that will help bring us closer to that net zero goal. Finally, we come to the jobs and the economy. To better help businesses, a 500 million jobs and business support package was announced. Small businesses like our SMEs and hawkers will receive payouts under the Small Business Recovery Grant. Investments will be made in future digital technologies like 6G. An additional 200 million will be set aside for building digital capabilities of our workers and businesses. Singaporeans will be able to acquire new skills and sharpen existing ones in their lifelong journey of learning. So, here's the TLDR of everything we've covered so far. The GST will increase over the next two years to 9%. The more well-to-do will pay more taxes and the lower income will pay less taxes. The assurance package and household support package were announced to better support Singaporeans. The permanent GST voucher scheme will be enhanced and will provide even more continuing support for more families. For a greener Singapore, we aim to achieve net zero emissions by or around mid-century. The carbon tax will increase in phases and more green bonds were announced. 
finally, there will be greater support for businesses and workers, and much more is being done to strengthen Singapore's digital capabilities. To find out more about the budget, you can head over to www.singaporebudget.gov.sg or you can do what I did and read through the entire speech again. <laughs>